Hello there, I'm Alger Hill, and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4, another collab with Mordred. Hello. Hello. So we are going to play, we're going to bring back the British Empire, but I'm going to be the East India Company, basically. Yeah? And I'm going to be the administrative centre in England. <laughs> I like, can that please be your country's name, administrative centre? I really <laughs> I want to change it. I still like the idea that you are, you are literally the East India Company, and I've just yeah. said, go conquer the world. Yeah, so we're going to both go fascist. Uh, Mordred's decided he's going to basically be an isolationist. He's going to be Woodrow Wilson and just sit there and send me equipment and control Europe and be like a puppet pu puppet master. What's that word? Yeah, puppet master, except puppet I don't a puppet anymore. Oh, yeah, we should no. probably say that we are using a mod, oh, which yeah. means that the British Raj is not a puppet. Yep, I'm free from the yoke of the British tyranny, though I'm still basically going to do whatever they tell me to do. Oh, you know what that means? I can't send you an end lease because well, tension isn't at 50% yet. That's why you have to go fascist. Yes, that is. Yeah, that's okay. Um, we're going to have a period of build-up. So my, my very first moves, I mean, I'm just going to straight away go fascist. So I'm going to go political effort, uh, then go nationalism focus, and that should be fine. It's going to take me a little while, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I think I'm just uh, going to not have a focus and just let that tick up. Oh, well, well, so you can get the fascist thing. Yes. Uh, I don't think I have been, any that give me political Someone's power. been looking at my One Empire YouTube guide for going in fascist Britain. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, sure I have. Uh, that, yeah, that's, that seems that seems to be a pretty standard thing with Britain. Is you, oh no, do you, or do you go limited rearmament? I think I think if I did that, I go limited rearmament first, but only just because I like the civilian factories. But yeah, you just got to rush it, don't you? Yeah, I, I want to get fascism first, and then I'll start on the national focuses. It's not like we have no time. Yeah. So my very first move, I'm going to get a civilian factory because I want to have because I have nine and the British thing. Which for some reason still works, even though we're not puppets, is to give me five civilian factories. So I want 15 because I really like the round numbers. So I'm going to build one civilian factory. Wow, that's going to take a long time. And I'm just making infantry equipment, towed artillery, and support equipment, which I will basically be sending to you as soon as I can. Yay! Do I have a, I have a deficit, which is a bit of a shame. So I'll just keep making some infantry equipment. Uh, I guess I'll grab all of my soldiers. So what, what do we think my first... Because basically how this is going to work is I'm going to be the main conqueror and Roger's going to be the administrator. Administ admin person. <laughs> yeah, I'm basically going to be doing like sneak attacks with marines and aircraft yes. and things. Yes. Oh, the aircraft is a big one. <laughs> yep. Britain does <laughs> good aircraft, so we're you good can there. Use my, you can use my airplanes, right? My airfields. Yes. Right. Okay, cool. cool. If Once we're in the we same faction. Yeah, yeah. So what should be the very first conquest? Because the West, we have... Afghanistan and it's basically nothing. We have Iran and it's just oil fields. John King, it's like nothing. Um, it looks like it just has to be Guangxi Click, doesn't it? Yeah, because we want the steel over there. I mean, although we do yeah. both produce a bit, that's going to run out. It's going to run out so quick. So I guess I'm going to have to go Yunnan and Guangxi Click like pretty much straight away. Yeah, and by the time you start launching those offences, I'm going to try and have some uh, marines stationed out of Singapore and then hit them nice. from behind. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, if I go you know, go and see click and Siam is my like main three That's gonna allow me to get rub. Although I don't need rubber because you have a billion rubber you can give me I do indeed have a billion rubber nice um, Though I have to trade it with you though, but that's okay because then you just swap factories production. That's fine Okay, I mean, my biggest problem is the fact that I've only got two techs Two tech slots, which is very I have sad. four. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I've got radar research, so it's okay. Oh, and light tanks. Actually, India has a lot of things researched. You start with all the text that I do. Oh, that is awesome. This is, this is actually amazing. And I have five million people. Good. Yeah, this is why you're fighting and I'm not. God. <laughs> five. I, at, the, at the most basic recruitment policy, I have five million. Like, I'm considering going mass assault doctrine. Uh, Holy crap. Yeah, there's no real reason not to. Uh, my camera slot is in the way of the thing. <laughs> Supply consumption, organization for tactics. Try and decide what would be better. Supply consumption, infantry combat width. That'd be nice. Ooh, yeah, maybe I should do that just so I can go massive infantry combat width. It's not a bad that'd be a, that'd be a bit silly, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh my god, so many people. Alright, well that's a that's long way off, so... Uh, my first, I guess I'll do my first research and just go tech, uh, industry even. Huh. <laughs> Italy actually start off with better battleship tech than the UK. Ah. 
They stole well, battleships too. We that's because that's because British were focused on the destroyers, weren't they? Uh, yes, we have destroyer twos. Look at that us for that with our British relevant uh, history. Yeah, because I think the um, the Italians have battleship two and cruiser two, light cruiser how, two. How are you seeing this? I'm not. I'm remembering this from oh. Italy game. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, holy crap! You got a you have a secret uh, a secret window. I don't know about. Well, you know, it's the um, British Secret Service. Ah. What Special Operations Executive, as it was properly called at the time. Yes, knowledge. Ooh, nice, knowledge, knowledge, <laughs> nice. Uh, so I'm East India Company, and I just sit here now. So we in pause? Um, yeah. What speed do you want? Trying to decide what to build. Let's uh, ramp it up, I would say. Nice. Uh, let me know when you want, if you're if you are. I, I mean, I've done everything I can do, because I, I literally pick my two techs, build a factory, and sit quietly. Um, yeah, I'm just reforming my navies, but I can do that at any time, really. Cool. Oh, my division, my armor division is two light tanks, two infantry. Please. <laughs> Please. Ooh, nice. Okay. Uh, so yeah, okay, let's do this. I am so freaking ready. Ready. Okay. Da -da. Da -da -da. Oh, the, I really like the music in this game. See, I, ne I never turn it off, because I just, it's addictive. Yeah, I always turn it off. You know what? Apparently, the music in Civ Six is supposed to be amazing, and I always I play the music listen. off, so I'm not going to hear it. Ah, oh, how, how can you not have music? It's so good. Because I, I don't want to deal with the copyright stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so worth it losing all your income. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> what did I want to? I wanted to look something up here. What was it? Just to figure out. Something. Oh yeah, my doctrines. Like what doctrine I should go? Because I've got so many men that going down. Problem is, if you go down mass assault, you do get um, you only get the infantry combat width after seven of them. God, that takes ages. <laughs> so I'm just gonna quickly like scroll through them and see if I can find one that's like gives me more infantry combat width reduction supply. No, not not even slightly. No, sad. This is very sad. I don't think I'm going to be able to build many tanks, am I? Oh no, King George V just died. Wow, that was a bit early. Oh, that was very early. Wow. Let me, let me know if people want to pause. By the way, you know me. I pause for everything. Oh, that's fine. In my single player, I usually do, but I always forget that it's not spacebar. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just I need to micro absolutely everything. I think this is actually why this series is going to work so well because I like doing a lot of macro stuff. I do everything kind of big and strategic, while you're a lot more tactical. So I can yeah. do the big sweeping like navies and the air force and stuff. Yes, that's my weakness. I think definitely. That's my strength. So yeah, I think this is going to work really well. All right, well. all right. Uh, I can't. My camera thing is blocking. Oh wait, I can just get rid of it. There we go. Genius. <laughs> I'm a genius. Okay, hang on. Division attrition, infantry recovery rate, organization. Ah, so both of them do actually have infantry combat width reduction. It's just the right one gives you shit tons of population. But uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. I just realised if you press the 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 tile key, the you know the cheat menu that comes up, even though we're playing multiplayer, and we can't cheat. It still comes up. Really? Yeah. The icon on the top left is a dog in an aviator's costume. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I've, that's it's just their yeah, debug stuff. I've never noticed that, the debug dog. How God, how have I never noticed that? He's like an entire Paradox meme. I'm surprised you haven't. I'm, I'm a filthy scrub. Apparently. Why do I now have 13 factories? Uh, I don't know. I think someone's trading with me. It's not me. I don't need anything. Oh, I'm exporting crap tons of tungsten. That's why. I'm like exporting anything. I'm a tux tungsten machine. Crikey, I'm exporting 521 rubber. Well, that's because you make, you make 848 in uh, thingy. Yeah. My, my total production is 1042. Oh my god. Just build <laughs> me. Just give me your wheels. Oh, you know what I should do? I should actually go uh, free economy rather than export, export focus. Free trade. You think? Yeah, it's faster factory construction, better research time. Like, a lot better research time. It's 5% better research time. Problem is, you lose a lot more resources to market. Yeah, but I make a lot. <laughs> you do, you do. 
Um, and how many factories do you get when people, when people trade with you? Um, I'm, I'm getting six from exports. How does one tell that? You go to the construction screen. Uh, on the top left, there's like a number of factories available and stuff. It, if you hover over Oh, it, from it trade, six. Oh, really? I have six. Weird. Oh, it's because the exported number isn't actually what is actually being sold. It's the amount available for selling. Right. So just, just that for some reason, so you're saying, it, oh god, hang on, no, stop. Okay, political efforts, yes. Collectivist ethos. Uh, see, this is the thing. I need a micro. Uh, oh wow, I actually have a, I actually have a really good number of uh, political advisors, and actually, I have a really good number of advisors in general. This is, this is nice. I'm so used to playing minor nations and not getting shit for advisors. It's <laughs> interesting that the British Raj has that because they would also be technically a minor nation. Yeah, but Rajender Prasid, Anyang Bula, Jala of Kok. These guys, are, these are real people as well. Nice. <laughs> I mean, I'm playing with it. three theatres the British Theatre, Africa, and the Empire. The Empire. Subhas <laughs> Chandra Bos, the fascism on the rise. Higher ups may harbour unspoken sympathies. Nice. Wow, 5.16 million people. Oh, that's how you do it. Um, I don't care about that. There'd be so many people. I'm trying to work out where all my troops are throughout the world. Ah, Spanish Civil War. Oh, I'm bugging there. There we go. That's a bit, oh, that's a nice early Spanish Civil War. Yes. That's going to increase war tensions nicely. I'm going to guess you don't need my garrison in Ceylon, aka Sri Lanka. Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. Unless you want to hold it, but it's probably fine. Nah. I'll, I'll wow, 116 you. rubber there. Nice. In fact, I wonder if I can give it to you. I don't think you can just give territory away. I don't think you can, no. Apparently not a thing. Let me know when you're able to give me a uh, lend lease because I... Oh no, you can't! You can't not until do it 50 world well tension. That is depressing. <laughs> it's the downside if you're not being my puppet anymore. The puppet master yeah. cannot master. Yeah, maybe we should have had the thing where you just you did the focus first. Where it's a focus to release me. Oh well. Should I put it on max speed? Yeah, you might as well. Because I mean, I'm, I'm just going to be sitting here twiddling my Indian thumbs. No, I'm basically just trying to set stuff up super quick. More I'm building a single fact. I'm building two infantry equipment productive factories. That's so sad. <laughs> Come on. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm going for the long game, so I'm actually building civilian stuff. Aha! Political advisor. Uh, where's the fascist? There he is. John Beckett. Fascism on the rise. But when I get... When I have extensive conscription, I'm going to have like 12 million soldiers. Now I can get a national focus. Fascist sympathies in the military. Woo! A coup. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back to looking at my my uh, doctrines and see which one's worth it because I, I think I am going to go mass assault doctrine it is the obviously the weakest one like by far it is atrocious but reduces out of supply penalty considering the area I'm in is really low supply I think it might be really good that was my knowledge of Singapore and Hong Kong you idiot what? <laughs> I'm naming all my army so I know where on earth they are around the world <laughs> And I named my Singapore army Hong Kong. You fool. How dare you not know reclusive British states. I know, it's terrible. Right, Hong Kong. You are actually the Hong Kong army. Right. Ooh, basic machine tools. Me too. Everybody goes basic machine tools. The very first move. <laughs> yeah, it does look like... It looks like with mass assault. The problem is, is it's a bit crap. But... It's it's the only tree that has one subsection of it be have much less than the other, which is so weird. Mass mobilization uh, part of it only has six, whereas the other one has two extra. It's so much more. It's like why unless you are starving for people, like your people are just being murdered left and right. Yeah. Why would you do anything otherwise? Da 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 da. Yeah. Sorry, right, I'll stop time that. to reinforce the empire, and then I'm going to get up to give you free factories. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. It was tightly back in play. 
I'm really tempted to do mass 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 assault because it, it it fits. But the problem is, it's just the worst. What do you think? What do you think? Um. Well, if you don't need the extra population, which you don't, then you probably don't need it. No, you only get extra population from the mass. Sorry, I meant mass assault. Yeah, I mean going the mass assault doctrine. You don't oh. get you. You only get extra pop from the one half of the tree. Gotcha. I don't. Need, I don't. I don't need to go those ones. Hang on, I'm being bombarded by things. Me too. I need to pause. I can't. I can't handle the sensory <laughs> overload. Uh, still 36. Oh, I have marines. I might actually just convert like all of my home guard infantry into. No, no, no. I'm not going to do that. Uh, oh, just be factor sick. Factories. Why don't you just get a factory? Wait, what just gave me a factory? What? I think okay. I want superior firepower. Just to pack as much bigger. Yeah, as yeah, possible. absolutely. So you can just be as amazing as possible. Well, that goes without saying, but it would be nice <laughs> if my armies were too. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Naturally. I'm gonna go, me I'm gonna go mechanical computing as well. It means I basically don't have an extra research slot for a thousand, for like two hundred and fifty days, but. <sighs> It, it's going to help long run. Oh, so much deficit of infantry equipment. Oh man, I'm just not sure. Ooh, I could go after Ireland and really Good. secure my homelands. That'd be nice. I think I might do that. Ah, uh, only issue is we need to coordinate our assaults because as we fight, um, territories are going to be uh, driving up war, uh, war tension. Yeah, yeah, I know. And once it hits 25, then France will start guaranteeing things. Yep. And then I have to fight France. I will probably lose. Against France? Well, I mean, without you there. We'll just blockade them, then they can't reinforce. Oh. Do you, do you then conquer France, is the question. Uh, let Germany do it, and then take over Germany. <laughs> Ooh, the Spanish war is looking interesting. Madrid's gone. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. I love watching it because it's being pushed. It's super fast. It's just like really cool watching bits go everywhere. Oh, that was an encirclement. That and that's another encirclement. And there goes Barcelona. Oh, Madrid's been freed. Right, navies, where are you? 242 ships. Don't think that's going to be quite enough. Need more. Need more. Need many more. <laughs> Ooh, there's some encirclements. Oh, it lost Madrid. Oh, and they gained it again. <laughs> this is fun to watch. I don't know, it's looking like nationalist at the moment. It's going to be the winner. Oh, Madrid's been encircled. Zaragoza's been encircled. I believe in you. Oh, Madrid's gone. I was just about to say, I believe in you, Republicans. <laughs> Here we are. This is actually looking like a really good push. This is actually really cool to watch. These national focuses are going very quickly. I like this. Yeah. Encourage colonial this... elite. 5% faster research. Yes, please. Yay. The close fight. Wish I could send volunteers and participate. Ooh, nice. Fascist assault divisions form. Very good. Okay, this gives me 0.2% extra recruitable population. Let's see how much I get. So I'm on 5.22 now. 5.92 million. Gee, I just gained 700,000 recruitable population. That's how much yeah. I have as Mexico total. Oh, there goes Zagoza. Long live George the Sixth. 80% national unity. Thank you very much. Noish, noish, noish. Armament effort. We're going through this so fast because we don't have anything to do for our opening moves. We're yeah, just kind of sitting here. But it's alright, we're getting some things. I'm catching up with my, uh... My things. Ooh. Things. I'm gonna wait the three days until next year and then change yeah, my Yeah, same, same. What should my modified government be? Industrial concern. I'm thinking maybe industrial. Mm, doesn't really work out if you go industrial concern, does it? it takes so long. What are you going to go for your second uh, PP purchase? I have no idea. Um, oh, it's the second one that I can never deal with. Probably. 
war industrialist? No, I should. I don't have a war industrialist for some reason. This sucks. I don't have the um, other one. Mm. I don't have the civilian factory builder. Only that one. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably go war industrialist. Maybe military theorist for me. No, I'll go industrial concern. Just get the extra research time reduction. Unless uh... there's one that boosts marines. Actually, the theorists aren't bad because they give you the extra doctrine research. Yeah, but I'm not going to be getting doctrines for a little while yet. Really wish I had more research slots. I'm going to need to, once I get the factories done, I'm going to need to rush the national focus for the extra research slot. I went with War Industrialist. I'm just trying to sort out my navies. Right, I think that you lot will be the... I'm on 39% fascist, so I'll let you know when I'm there. All right. Home fleet. What's Japan doing? Japan's doing army innovation, so they have they've yet to do the uh, Chinese border incident. So that's good. Goodness. Commonwealth tires. I'm getting closer to your Raj development thing. Awesome. It's going to give me tons of nice factories. Matter of perspective. Tons for you. A bit like for me. <laughs> yeah. I just keep gaining population. I'm 5.94 right now. I'm trying to think what kind of fleet I need to keep around India. It kind of depends if we're going to be going to war with Japan anytime soon. I mean, not anytime soon, but yeah, we will eventually. France wants Ooh. to join the Allies. No. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Get out of here. I like I didn't even consider it. Just like, no, get out. <laughs> you don't like France. Why would we want you? Ooh, I actually, I'm actually making... I actually have nine factories right now, making military, making infantry equipment. Not bad. Good. Right? I want a whole bunch of cruisers. Where are they? Yeah, they, oh, they did nerf light cruisers, but they're still good. Yeah, I'm trying to decide what fleet I want to keep in the Mediterranean around Malta. Uh, Malta. More to the point oh, yeah, whether Malta. I want to put any carriers in there. Uh, I mean, if you're not going to be fighting anyone there, I guess not. To be honest, we're going to need the majority of the naval power against Japan. Like, if you can stop Japan from landing additional troops, then... Oh, baby. Well, are we actually going to outright declare war on Japan, then? No, but within two, three years, we'll probably be fighting them, because they'll have taken China by then. True. Oh, cripes. I forgot to do that. Ah. Oh, Japan's reinforcing the Soviet border. Ah. Interesting choice for them. Oh. That would be pretty interesting. Let's hope they don't do that. Wait, what was that? Sorry, I was focusing on other things. So they, they've taken reinforced the Soviet border, NF, which they usually don't do, like, ever. Uh, and then the choice between the two is southern expansion or northern expansion. If they go northern, because it's random, because it's non... It's non Folk, it's non-historical, um, so who knows? If they go northern, they get a Casus Belli against Soviet Union. If they go southern, they get one against you. Oh. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see. By that, I mean, oh joy, fighting Japan early. <laughs> uh, what do I want to research? Definitely something. Whoa, change in popularity of fascists, 20%. Thank you. Oh, nice. What do you want now? I am now on 49%. Oh, I'm on 45. Good job. How'd you get that so much? How'd you get 20? Where's that from? Uh, threat of communism. Ah. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen that event. Might be a British only one. I didn't have a chance to read the thing. Yes. <laughs> uh, hey, by the way, it. by the way, you're going, um, ooh, you're going development in Canada. Yeah, that's the one that I need before Raj, isn't it? Oh, nope. no, it's not. Sorry, I misread that. <laughs> oh, well. <Go> Canada. <laughs> Free stuff for you, Canada. <laughs> Yay, good job, Canada. Enjoy your free shit. I hate that you can't change. And it deletes yeah, it me too. It. It's annoying. It's so stupid. Banish War's still happening, but it looks like it's over. Oh, hey, there we go. Fascist coup d'etat. Actually. Hello, fascist India. Oh, we're called Free India. <laughs> nice. I love it. All right. 
So next political power purchase is going to war con. Oh no, it can't because I don't have ten percent. But still, fifteen percent. Okay, so now I can justify, but unfortunately, I uh, I just can't. <laughs> And as soon as you're fascist, everyone will get kicked out, and then we can uh, form a faction. Yep. And you so can give me billions of Lendleys. What are we going to call the faction? Hmm. I don't know. Because your country will be called Fascist Britain, won't it? Something like that, yeah. I'm Free India, and I'm the East India Trading Company. I don't know. You're the, you're, you're the administra administrator. You tell me. Fascist demand referendum. I'm just going to pause it for a second. Nice. Uh, which one do I want? If it's the referendum, then that just means you win, don't you? You become fascist. Yes. If the people want yeah. it, we'll hold the referendum. There we go. Minus five. National unity, and I am now fascist. British Everyone's Empire. Leaving. Awesome. Okay, so everyone will leave in a second. I assume. Uh, Australia and someone else has already gone. Bloody... Oh, there we go. Cool. Okay, disband the allies, and then make a new one. And that cancelled my development in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, Canada. Except I cannot now develop the Raj. Why? Oh, because I'm not in a faction with you. Once we have the faction, I can. Okay. <laughs> ah! Okay, cool. Okay, so, what are we going to call it? Are you founding it? Oh, I assumed you were. Okay. Um... What do you want? Do you want, do you want to be a faction leader, or shall I? I really don't mind. You want to rock paper scissors for it? It's a bit hard to do for me because I have no camera. Mm, he can just go rock, and I'll be like paper. <laughs> <laughs> paper. All right. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I got a coin somewhere. No, I don't. Do you have a coin? Uh, yes. All right, heads. I mean, you could just lie, but I'm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Heads or tails, you said heads. It is tails. Alright, you're a faction leader. I'm kind of tempted just to call it the Empire. Do it. Because that is technically what it is. Do or it. the new Empire. New Empire, yes. It's a bit Star Wars y, but yeah, go on. No, I don't like the new Empire. Sod off allies. Ugh. Ugh. Right. Bridge there. Free India. Hello. Create a faction. We could just call it your faction name here. Love it. <laughs> Do it. Um, Can't wait for your faction na uh, name here to be across the world. I know. Mordred's Empire. Huh? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> well, just... what, about, what about an amalgamation of our two names? Aldredred. Or Mordrahill. 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 Yes. That sounds a lot better. Mordra Hill Empire or just Mordra Hill? Say again, sorry? Mordra Hill Empire or just Mordra Hill? Uh, it's got to have Empire. We're British. Yeah, true, true. Mordra Hill Empire it is. Boom. Would you like oh, to join my faction? Mordra Hill Empire, that's a mate. No, it's Mordra Hill. Oh, screw it. We're here now. <laughs> you got Mordra Hill. Did I? Does well, I'll just say no and then I'll do it again. Can you? I would think so. Yeah, that's disband faction. I imagine the political agreement where they just hammered out, they were making, we're deciding to make a global faction to resist communism and the democracy in the world. Okay, we send the invite out. Oh shit, we forgot the R. Uh, uh, cancel to... it, do it again. Need to wait one day. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Mordor. Oh. Oh, I see it. Okay, Mordra Hill. There you go, there you go. <sighs> <laughs> I loved it if it was just like, fuck you, Aldrin. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. The dawn of Mordra Hill Empire. Woo! Excellent. Right, send me that sexy lend lease. Develop the Raj. Send. Free India. Still can't lend lease. But. To send lend lease, Free India must be at war. Bollocks! Oh well, well when, we first do, when we do the first war, you can just jam pack me with them. Sounds good to me. Don't worry about it. I'm ah, actually producing maybe's. a fair amount now. I have a feeling I sent my Mediterranean fleet to the wrong place. Where are you? I Not mean, ready. should I start justifying? Um. 
Yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe send some troops to India so we can actually start fight the Guangxi clique because we want to try and do it before Japan does stuff. Ah, oh, they're doing Chinese border incident. Oh shit. Send the stuff. Huh? <laughs> they're coming. Okay. They're coming. Yeah. Actually, no, how, mu no. how much are you going to send me? One sec. Never. Probably like 70%. No, I meant like uh, soldiers. Oh, soldiers. I don't have an army. I only have I only have thirteen. Um, I can send you my home guard because I don't think I'm going to need them at home. Nice. But I've not been building any because I was expecting <laughs> you to be doing that. <laughs> That's all right. I just need a I need a start because I. Uh... I'll send you my uh, Africa and home guard troops, but I will need to send them back again because I need to keep control of sewers. Nice. How many is that? Twenty six. Nice. More than I'll need. Perfect. In fact, yes. Can I do that as an expeditionary force and then just let you worry about them? No. Oh, that'd be good. Not until you're at war. Well, yeah, you can send them to me and then I'll put. Then you can designate them as an expeditionary force. But then this they might. Then it'll take two weeks to arrive. But that's fine. Okay, um, so we're only going to get one war. So I'm thinking Yunnan, Guangxi, Click, and Siam. What do you think? Yep, I'm sold on that. Because nice. obviously after the one war, then it'll be the uh, the declaration. How much oil do you have? Uh, that's a good question. I have, I produce 42. I have a surplus of two. Damn, so maybe I should be going for Afghanistan. No, not Afghanistan, Iran. Iran is usually a good choice, kind of regardless who you go, because if nothing else, you're denying them. Yeah, the problem is, is that then I share a border of the Soviet Union. True. Should be fine, right? Hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's. I'll do Iran, Yunnan, and Guangxi. Thick. It means I am definitely going to need your troops, though, to so fight two fronts. Yeah, fine. Awesome. I'll start justifying. That's going to take about twelve years. Fine. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, yeah, I can. I can send my um, tank division. Oh, the tank. The tank. <laughs> That's why I was kind of sniggering, because um, <laughs> my tank army currently consists of three cavalry units and one tank. Like, <laughs> divisions, not companies. Charge! <laughs> <laughs> we should probably end our first episode here, shouldn't we? I think it's been 32, yeah. We should probably end it here. Yes, we probably should. All right. I'll do my sexy outro that everyone loves. Is you need to remember who I am. Who are otherwise, you so it, it turns out that I'm Aldrahill, and I will also continue to be. Okay, that's that's interesting. I think. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. Goodbye.